Hey there tech fans, Rick here again with a quick review of the brand new DJI Mini 4 Pro drone. This is the very latest release from DJI in their sub 250 gram category, and it's a small drone that flies like a much bigger drone because somehow DJI's packed features into this drone that you'll normally only find in much larger, more sophisticated drones, and it's a tiny little airframe. So in this video, I'd like to give you five good reasons why I think you're going to fall in love with this particular drone. And let's start off with the size. I've already mentioned that it weighs less than 250 grams, and that's a really important number in the United States because if the drone weighs less than 250 grams, you won't have to worry about registering it with the FAA. The minute you go over the 250 gram limit, you have to get a registration number that you'll put on all your drones that you're flying as a hobbyist, and that's not that big a deal. It's a small cost, it covers you for a couple of years, and really it's just an easy way to get registered. Now, you might be wondering, well, if it weighs less than 250 grams, why would I ever have to worry about that? Well, DJI gives you a lot of choice in the way you can configure this drone. They offer a couple of different kits that include different parts. So for example, with the batteries, you can get it with the standard battery, which keeps it under the 250 grams and provides 34 minutes of flight time on a full charge. Now that's absolutely incredible. But they also released a plus battery that has a higher energy density, but it weighs a little bit more. So if you're using the plus battery, it puts it over the 250 grams, but the advantage is you get 45 minutes of flight time. I still can't get past that. Putting a drone up for 45 minutes doesn't seem possible. So I like the plus battery. I don't mind registering it with the FAA. Again, it's a small cost, not a big deal. You go online, you register it, and you put your drone up and fly. So you have a choice in batteries. You also have a choice between controllers. You can use the brand new DJI RC2. You can use that or you can use the DJI RC N2, which is the one you'll use with your phone or your tablet. This one has an integrated screen, so basically you charge this, charge your drone and go out and fly. With this one, you'll connect your phone or your tablet up with a cable, and you can use that to go out and fly, so that's your screen. So I like the fact that DJI made a really small drone that's incredibly portable. It's under the 250 gram limit, and they give you a lot of choices on the type of batteries you want to use and the type of controller you want to use. All right, so that's the size, but I can't get past the size because you'll look at this and think it's a toy, but I'm here to tell you it flies like a much bigger drone, and I'll give you some of the specs that support that now. For starters, the drone itself can capture incredibly good footage. So it's got a 1 over 1.3 inch sensor on the front. It's got an advanced image packaging solution inside that'll turn the images that it collects on that sensor into beautiful footage and beautiful pictures. The unit itself can record 4K at up to 60 frames a second and even up to 100 frames a second on video. If you're recording 1080p video, you can record video up to 200 frames a second. So it's gonna give you some incredibly buttery smooth video up in the sky. It is a three axis stabilized gimbal, which means the camera is gonna constantly adjust for the drone being buffeted by the wind. So if the drone gets knocked around a little bit up there at height, the camera is gonna anticipate the movement and correct for it. So again, you're gonna get buttery smooth footage on the front of the unit. So it's an incredibly smart drone from that perspective. It's also an incredibly safe drone. They've built in all kinds of protections on the drone to keep you from having problems once you're up in the sky, starting with a 360 degree obstacle avoidance system. It's got sensors on the front, sensors going back, sensors on the bottom. So when you're flying, the drone is constantly looking for objects that you might smack into, and it's gonna see those objects, and if you get too close to a tree or a wall, it's gonna pull back. So it's gonna protect you really from yourself when you're out there flying. In addition to that, it is a feature built in called APAS, which is Advanced Pilot Assistance System, which basically has the drone looking for solid objects and at the same time looking for holes between those solid objects. So if you're flying the drone through the woods, it's gonna know where the trees are and it's gonna find the holes and navigate through that really complex environment. It also has protections built in for automated return to home. So for example, if the battery gets a little bit low, it's gonna actually take over control, elevate to height, spin to face its home point, fly all the way back and land where it took off. If there's any issues inside the drone, if the communication link gets broken, if the compass is acting wacky, if the internal electronics are not behaving correctly, the drone again takes over control, elevates, flies back and lands. So it's built to be an incredibly safe drone to fly, which is perfect for new flyers or even flyers that have been up in the air for a while that are looking for a second drone. All right, so in addition to that, they've got a brand new connection topology between the drone and the controller. And that's really important because a lot of the drones on the market use a standard Wi-Fi connection, which is good for maybe 2,000 feet. And that's a pretty good distance to fly, but this one uses a proprietary OcuSync 4 technology that was developed by DJI, and that provides, and I'm laughing because it's so far, it provides a connection 
up to 20 kilometers away. Now, in the United States, you can't fly that far because you have to keep the drone in your visual line of sight. So for me, that's about 3,500 feet with a beacon on the top of the drone. But knowing I can fly 20 kilometers means I've got a rock solid connection in close when I'm flying around a building or I'm flying around some trees. I'm never gonna have to worry about breaking that connection and having the drone head off for the horizon You know, with me chasing it down the field. So OcuSync 4 gives you that solid connection. That same technology also provides a live feed back from the drone to your controller, whether you're using this one or you're using this one, 1080p at 60 frames a second. And the reason that's important is because when you're flying, you could be quite a ways away from your home point over a lake somewhere. You want to make sure that you have the perfect framing and you want that perfect crystal clear video from the camera to be seen on the screen. And that way you know you've got the framing you need if you're flying, trying to do some video, or you're taking some pictures of a particular point of interest. A 1080p 60, 60 frames per second feedback is absolutely incredible. So you're going to get crystal clear images on your display. Another thing you want to consider is the artificial intelligence built into this drone. A lot of the drones out there can do the basic stuff. They can follow you through a field, they can circle you in the sky, they can fly away from you. This drone does all that and then some. It's got automated flight patterns built in, five or six different ones that the first day you start flying the drone, you can tap the screen and have it fly around you and keep you at the center point. You can have it follow you through a field while it's dodging trees. You can have it fly away from you to reveal the landscape behind you. So what I'm trying to get at here is that the drone is smart enough right out of the box to make you an incredible cinematographer. A lot of other drones take a little bit of time to get good at that and they have a limited number of things it can do. They also built in quick transfer technology so that once you record video to the drone, you can bring it to your, bring your phone close to it over Bluetooth, make a connection and transfer those right to your phone. They even include an editing app that's automated. So it's got artificial intelligence built in that will scan the footage that you've recorded. It'll pick the parts that are really interesting. It'll sew those together in a clip, add some music to it and allow you to immediately publish it to your social media channel. So they built a lot of different things into it. The last thing I wanna mention is that Again, I cannot get past the fact that a drone of this size can handle a level five wind. So if you're up there and the wind gets gusty, you can handle a level five wind, which is 20 plus miles an hour. I'm not saying you should fly it in a hurricane, but if you take it out on a normal day, you're not gonna have any issues with the wind. And look how small that drone is when it's folded up. It's about the same size as a can of soda. So if you're heading out on vacation, you're never gonna worry about taking the drone with you because the drone and the controller together in your bag or about the same size as a pair of sneakers. So you're gonna always find room in your bag to take this along. And just think for a minute of the beautiful footage you can capture on your next vacation to make all of your family members and your friends jealous as can be because you've got some great footage from up above. And that's pretty much all I had today. I really like this drone an awful lot and I fly a lot of different DJI drones, but I have to tell you, the Mini 4 Pro is hands down my favorite small drone at this point. And it goes with me everywhere. Every time I leave the house, I have this drone and this controller in my bag, and I've captured some incredibly good footage. So hopefully you found this review helpful. I've enjoyed talking about it. I love the drone. I think you're gonna love it as well. So thanks again for watching, and until next time as always, <laughs> stay nerdy.